I'm a strong believer what Nelson Mandela said, that everything is always impossible until someone does it. Well, I'm going to be the one that said to myself, I'm going to do it and I'm going to show it to them. Maybe it has never been done before. That's perfectly fine with me. But I'm going to do it. I felt that I was born for something special, for something unique, for something big. No one gets to where you are without work hard and being disciplined, having a clear vision and the drive and having the fire in the belly and having that want power and that willpower and all that stuff. The, the key thing is, is I think that um, you have this in you, that desire to grow or you don't, because that's where it all begins. We don't want to just be ordinary guys and we are willing to put the effort into it. We are willing to make the sacrifices. We're willing to fight for it and to go and work for it and train for it and do all of this kind of stuff, and which takes hours and hours and hours of every day and discipline and all this stuff. And you guys don't just talk about it, you do it. 74% hate their job in America. Now, there's not much different when you come to Europe. The majority of people don't like what they're doing because they're really not doing it because they didn't have a goal and they followed this goal. They just aimlessly drift around and then all of a sudden there's a job opening so they get that job because you have to work. But then when you work, it's a chore. It's work. It's not fun. So if you think about only a quarter of the people really enjoy what they're doing in life. That is unbelievable if you think about it. So I felt so blessed that I knew what I was doing. Do you know how great it felt that I knew where I was going? Imagine the majority of people don't know where they're going. I knew where I was going, that I'm going to become this bodybuilding champion just like him. So it was just a question of how do you do it? I was so relieved because when you have a goal, when you have a vision, everything becomes easy a vision of where you go and if you don't have a goal where you go you drift around and you never end up anywhere it's like you can have the best ship in the world you can have the best airplane in the world if the pilot or the captain doesn't know where to go it would just drift around it would not end up anywhere or most likely in the wrong place so i was very fortunate that i stumbled onto my vision i mean as you know i was born in 1947 in austria after the second world war and I didn't really like Austria when I grew up. I couldn't wait to get out of there. I couldn't see myself becoming a farmer or a worker in a factory or anything like that. Even though my parents wanted me to stay there and have a normal life. My father wanted me to become a police officer like he was. My mother wanted me just to stay there and marry a girl with the name of Heidi, hopefully and have a bunch of kids and run around like the Van Trapp family in the sound of music. But that was their vision, not mine. My vision was totally different. I felt that I was born for something special, for something unique, for something big. When they saw me in the gym in the pumping iron days, they said, why is it that you're working out so hard? Five hours a day, six hours a day, and you have always a smile on your face. The others are working out just as hard as you do and they look sour in the face. Why is that? And I told people all the time, I said, because to me, I'm shooting for a goal. In front of me is the Mr. Universe title. So every rep that I do gets me closer to accomplishing that goal, to make this goal, this vision turn into reality. Every single set that I do Every repetition, every weight that I lift will get me a step closer to turn this goal into reality. So I couldn't wait to do another 500 pound squat. I couldn't wait to do another 500 pound bench press. I couldn't wait to do another 2000 reps of sit-ups. I couldn't wait for the next exercise. I hate plan B. And I tell you why, because we have so many doubters as I've said earlier, the, the no-sayers. We have so many of those people that say no and you can't do it, that's impossible. That is okay because we just turn off 
as I said earlier, and we listen and we hear the no being a yes, you can't do it, do it, you can do it, and all of that. So that, that is possible to do that amongst all the negative people around you. But when you start doubting yourself, that's very dangerous. Because now what you're basically saying is, is that if my plan doesn't work, I have a fallback plan, I have a plan B. And that means that you start thinking about plan B and every thought that you put into plan B, you're taking away now that thought and that energy from plan A. And it's very important to understand that we function better if there is no safety net because plan B becomes a safety net. It says that if I fail, then I fall and I get picked up and I have something else there that will, that will protect me. And that's not good because people perform better when there's no safety net. People perform better in sports and everything else if you don't have a plan B. I'm telling you, I've never ever had a plan B. I say I made a full commitment that I'm gonna go and be a bodybuilding champion. I made a full commitment that I'm gonna be in America. I made a full commitment that I'm gonna get into show business and I'm going to be a leading man. No matter what it takes, I will do the work. I will do the work over and over and over until I get it. And the same was in politics and everything like that. So to me, it is very dangerous to have a plan B because you're cutting yourself off from the chance of really succeeding. And the reason, one of the main reasons why people want to have a plan B is because they are worried about failing. What is if I fail, then I don't have anything else? Well, let me tell you something. Don't be afraid of failing because there's nothing wrong with failing. You have to fail in order to climb that ladder. There's no one that doesn't fail. I failed in bodybuilding. I, I lost bodybuilding competitions. I lost powerlifting competitions. I lost weightlifting competitions. I had movies that went in the toilet and that were terrible and got the worst reviews. Whoever stays down is a loser. And winners will fail and get up. Fail and get up. Fail and get up. You always get up. That is a winner. That is a winner.